All right, man. So we back again with another reaction, bro. Um, we got Kodak Black calling out Toronto biggest mob shooter. Bottom five. I ain't gonna call him top five because it's just bottom five. Um, I don't really know too much. I don't really know too much about this shit. I just got on here and I just see it says Kodak Black calls out Drake's, you know, shooter. So we gonna get into this. We gonna see what they talk about. Um, shout out to this channel. I ain't gonna say, bro, when we on that. I ain't gonna say, bro, a kid. I ain't gonna say all that, cause like all us when we men, I believe like every man should have something in them, like some type of like you know tiger a lion in them, some kind of way in some sort. But it's like me, you know, bro, don't got nothing to do with shit. And, and yeah, bro, don't got nothing to do with shit. And he don't give that vibe off. But it's like, homie, like, say, don't check a code at you, though. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but don't give that vibe off, so. I don't respect it, man. I don't know. I just, I, I, I just, I don't respect that shit. Cause these fuck niggas been, been, been. These fuck niggas been like, they been like, they been like, um. Yeah, reaching for too long, homie. And like, every little shit. I'm mean, like, bitch, I'm at my fashion show. You niggas pussy as fuck coming at my fashion show. Bitch, you can't look in the crowd. Trust me, if I would've knew you niggas in the crowd, homie, I would've did the same shit I did to all you niggas when I saw y'all. I'll punch you up. And this nigga who just got out of jail, I would've punched you up too. Ain't no difference, homie. That's why you niggas had to shoot. You feel me? Because of I'm gonna just stop right here. I. Yeah, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. I ain't never heard somebody say, I would have just punched you up. I, I would have jacked you up. Yeah, I would have slapped your ass around type shit. Yeah, you feel me? But <laughs> I feel like sometimes Kodak be making his own words. I would have punch you up. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, man, you would have did your big one. Cool. Let's do it, homie. A nigga, a nigga, 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 a fresh shot on paper, so I was kind of like moving certain places without no fire sometimes. But they're like, I ain't tripping because it really was, it wasn't even no smoke. Anyway, I'm saying they be like, on the, like, 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 okay, if I ever saw you niggas and got you, you know, got you niggas smack, it was just one of them equations. Like, I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I don't even know how the hell, like, if this is a beef, I don't even know how the hell this beef shit started, bro, because I could have sworn top five or bottom five was going after Kendrick fan, uh, Kendrick goon. So how do you turn around and now you're trying to, you, now you turn around and you're trying to beef with a fucking Florida nigga, clout. Oh, yeah, I see you niggas punch you up, punch you up, homie. Like, dude, bitch, me and my homeboy, two of us, we beat up four of y'all, homie. <laughs> Like you niggas, like it's gay shit. It was two niggas, like two me and one of the dog. I mean, we beat four of you niggas up. Period. Everything, everything a nigga touch and fall, like, like glass, like glass. We touch that, shit, touch that chin, touch that chin, that shit shallow. Nigga tap that chin is breaking. Nigga tap that shit is shallow. That's it. I mean, period. And you like, oh, if I was there, I would have did. Fuck you and this. Baby face side boy. You mean nigga older than me, you ain't got a damn chin. You ain't got no damn, you ain't got a damn. Come on, man. Tighten down, my way. Please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, man. Tighten Alright, so I don't even I don't know who this is. So if he if he one of um bottom five artists, goon, or what? Y'all let me know what's up. Now my way. Please. Mm -hmm. This shit, bro. That shit, yeah, it's hell. I mean, cause like, bitch, let Tyler be zooling, man. That's crazy. So, like, all right, niggas want juice, bro. All right, get it for me. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little juice on this. I ain't even gonna do this, but I'm gonna need feel, feel straight like that. Like, bro, I had to turn around from his show, and niggas in the crowd, like, oh, oh, bro, he came to the show. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, that shit ain't nothing to do with them. Like, I mean, I ain't no way you gonna make, bro, look pussy or none of that shit. And I just sit here and don't say shit. If you mean, all right, bro, you need to get your juice, homie. I'm not no flies, dog. You know how you rockin', huh? <laughs> Fly, dog. Uh, 
And I got a six piece? What? I'm shooting for the six piece. No cap. <laughs> This dude, bro. Top five, dog. You know, they're gonna run at the top five. Press allegedly showed up at a Louis uh, show in Toronto last night looking for him due to his affiliation with Kodak. I'm sorry, I'm more stuck on this nigga right here, bro. Like. You moving all types of wrong, bro. Why? 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 All right. Top five of the dude we went over him some weeks ago when he came out saying that I'm Drake Shooter. Dude from Toronto. I am Drake Shooter. 2024, I am Drake Shooter. <laughs> you don't know Broski's in the Broski's in Drake's body, gay. <laughs> By title, he's a rapper, but we don't, I don't, I don't know any rap songs, but he's more <laughs> known for shenanigans like this right here. So if you guys don't remember, Kodak Black was once shot in LA and he was allegedly shot due to having an altercation with guys from this dude Presser's team or whatever. The altercation led to him being shot in LA. Now that leads to... Alright, hold on. So with that incident, right? So with that incident when um when Kodak had got shot at in LA, well for one, it wasn't even Kodak that got... He got shot at, but he didn't get shot if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was one of his entourage. Uh, two, when that shit had, uh, when that shit had circulated, uh, went around and whatnot, they were basically saying that the only reason why they shot at, uh, Kodak at the time was because, you know, at that time, uh, Nipsey was, you know, R.I.P., and I guess he was talking about, um, Nipsey, the wife, London, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, y'all, y'all correct me, but, um, Kodak was talking about how, you know, like, you know, you ain't got no man no more. Something, something, come holla at me, yada, 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 you know, type shit. And, um, I guess, what, a month later, whatever the case was, he ended up having a show or something to do in L.A. And that's when the whole incident happened. So, my thing is, right, when that whole incident happened, nobody knew about this, this, I don't even want to say Osaba, Osaba Bin Laden, just, just, ain't nobody knew about this nigga, bro. You feel me? Everybody was going off on the on the situation of, you know, he was talking on his neck about um Nipsey girl, so you know that so they don't got at him, da 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 da. So how the hell you know what let me keep listening. I'm probably jumping the gun. My bad, bro. This dude top five coming out of jail and wanted to go ahead and clout chase this situation and um said some things. First, he said something about Kodak Black in that situation. We're gonna talk about that. But then a young rapper named Lil Tyler from Florida was in Canada for a show. And this dude wanted to press him saying, oh, I seen you hanging out with Kodak Black. Started calling him Sniper Gang, which is Kodak Black's clique, but he's not Sniper Gang. But he was trying to press Jit because of that. But hold on tight, let me get y'all how we got to this position. Kodak would have been dead. He would have been dead? Yeah, my the 16-year-old G42, he took care of it, but I would have done it. If I was there, he would have been a nose too. He would have been done. Been but that G4, I swear you guys seen I'm him in still, Paris. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm like, still happy. He left a press that told us to just leave it alone. Yeah. Hold on. I'm still happy already, that G42. We already have one up on G42 him. bond him up. And he does have one up on I think if I... Listen, with no disrespect, I said this in one of my last video, bro. I don't really know too much game from Toronto, bro. Like... Besides that whole incident when Rick Roth went to Toronto and tried to play a uh, Kendrick song, Not Like Us, and the whole fight broke out. Well, they said that was against the Hell Angel, and they said the Hell Angel is pretty big out there. So, okay, you got the Hell Angel. Everybody knows about the Hell Angel, so there's no going back and forth about that, right? But what game the top five claim, though? If I was there, I would have told G42, nah, we're doing this. 
Uh, already give me this stick. Already, no, no, no. You know what I mean? So if what's you guys beef with like, him though? Yeah, I don't get it. That's what I'll say. So technically, if it's just like incriminating yourself, like bro, you're literally on camera, live camera, I'm talking about bro. If I was there, that nigga six feet under. Like, <laughs> like you're basically letting the world know, like if this nigga really would have died, I'm the cause of him dying. And let's just be honest, bro. Once you get locked up, bro, ain't nobody gonna remember your ass. Ain't nobody gonna be sitting here free top five type shit, bro. And if I was there, he had to he had to run if out. I was there, I, I couldn't kill him. <laughs> you, you guys were front row. You know why? It was too much. You guys were front row. I know, yeah. but like, you want right. him to run out. You're right. You can't kill him. You're right. You're right. You're going to jail. That's crazy. He sends his bodyguards. He sends like his bodyguards to stand up. I have a young boy here that's ready to crash on, man. I'm a crash well, out gang too, I'm man. Crash you, so. This the only person that was sense. Two dumbasses. We gotta tell the truth. <laughs> like two dumbasses. Only person that was sense, and he only want to show himself with these idiots. So you guys scared to get Miami? No, no, we can't them. crash it. We're not gonna I crash it. But then again, you never know. If I was there, I'd probably kill him too. I can't lie. Probably. Never mind. Oh god, damn. What's going on, bro? You know what I'm saying? You never know. Fuck, I, I don't know what I'll do. He talked. You said that too early, my boy. Listen, at first, I was about to be with you too. Like, okay, yeah, you're right. Shit, maybe he is the smartest nigga not to be talking that crazy. He's hiding his face, but no, bro. You know, when you're around your nigga, you got to sound hard too, bro. It's like it's like when you and your boy see a whole bunch of group of girls, so now y'all trying to. But why? What's the beef? Is the music beef or like. Caught up with a Okay, all right, so that led. I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all because I'm from Florida. Um, in all reality, unless y'all, y'all tell me I'm tripping or not. In all reality, bro, Kodak sniper game is not something that you want to fuck with out here, bro. Like, I'm not saying they're like the blood and crypt type shit, bro. They just a whole bunch of, they're Caribbean boys. All right. Sniper game have a shit ton of Caribbean boys and there are professional crash out, nigga. I'm telling you, I don't think. Am I listen straight up? So you see how top five fits here in Canada talking about oh you won't come to Toronto this and the third, bro. Would you show your faith in Pompano? And if and I bet you if you do show your faith in Pompano, bro, you gonna be looking just like your buddy in the middle, faith covered from head to toe. You feel me? Like I doubt you would show up to Florida and like be like oh yeah we out here type shit whoop de whoop because I'm telling you, bro. I don't know really too much about Toronto, but I don't ever hear some shit going off like that. Like, in Florida, you have a whole bunch of dumbass shit going on, da-da-da-da-da. We're just almost like every other state that had their own shit going on. But it's just the fact that ever since this Kendrick and, this Kendrick and Lamar, uh, Kendrick and Drake beef shit happening, all of a sudden now Toronto should, Toronto, Toronto is acting like a place you shouldn't fuck with. Now, let's be honest, how many times have y'all heard something... How many times have y'all really heard something about Toronto other than just now, ever since the, this beef shit started? Ever since this nigga beat a, a murder case? I mean, if there's a shit ton of shit going on, and if I have anybody from Toronto or whatever the case is, y'all give me some history uh, lessons to let me know what Toronto really like. To, like I said, Lil Tyler being in, being in Toronto. And check out all this footage, all right? So this one right here said this kid never even came to his own show because of me and Pressa, Hessa, Sniper Gang. It's dark in them alleys. Hey man, no flies though. You know how you're rocking, huh? My <laughs> dog. Uh, and I got a six piece? What? I'm shooting for the six piece. Don't cap. <laughs> this is Lil Tyler promoting his show right here. Me and Press our money outside your show, Lil Tyler. Where you at, Sniper Gang? Shit crazy. And then in the comment section, you see dude speaking heavy from Florida. Dude speaking heavy. Um, He not even sniping. Hold up. Top five employees from HZ pulled up on a weekend show. Don't know, da da da. Them vote no. <laughs> uh, hold on. Can y'all see? Hold on. Alright, um, hold up.
Yeah, see, what even Tom G than the goddamn comment? If y'all don't know about Tom G, listen, that's a Tampa, Florida, right there, boy. Listen, <laughs> Tom G said they must never, they must never plan to come to Florida. Oh God, boy, you trying to get a a clout built as a kid? You pressed a kid, y'all pressed a thirty, y'all. <laughs> Game man, these clowns doing anything. Tell them to come to Florida doing that. Tom G, rapper from Tampa, says they must never plan on coming to Florida. Dude, say I need a show in Canada because these niggas tripping thinking this Florida shit sweet. And our fans were mad. They say the fans are sad. It's not the game, little Tyler, and show up instead. He's in his hotel in Toronto hiding. I'm home. All right, you see what I think? Using chat GPT, right, hold up. and well, that's awesome. There is one little problem you're not. All right, y'all see what I said earlier, right? When I was like, I don't know too much about Toronto, but I am from Florida, so I know a lot of dumbass shit be going on. And I told y'all, unless I'm wrong, if I got some sniper game in, in here, y'all let me know. But I'm pretty sure half, we're just going to say maybe like 95% of the sniper game crew is Haitians. And if they're not Haitian, they're black American. You feel me? If you know, you know. But, um... Bro, this is not something you really want to do because these boys are not. What did Kodak, Kodak say? What did he say one time in his song? My nigga really out your day will murk you. Hold on. These nigga murk you for a hot meal. Something. It was something Kodak said and he's not lying, bro. Like, I'm not trying to glorify this shit or whatever, but it's just the fact that ever since this nigga came out and all you hear is top five, but no one really knows too much about top five other than, oh, he's supposedly supposed to be um, Kendrick Shooter. Kendrick. Uh, Drake Shooter, my bad. You feel me? So, it's like, bro, no one... Said the promoters are mad, flew to Toronto and could have performed due to top five. Impressive next time, check in. DM head of security, D Money Levels. For the little Tyler show. Oh, yo, bro, I told you. Okay, look, this kid never came into the venue once. Like, I think his security maybe like came through the back door. I seen like two guys come through the back door. They checked it out. They talked to some other security and then they left. They never, you know, he never once came inside the venue once. I never seen it. Okay, so you're basically clowning. You're basically. All right, so you're basically clown, um, clowning. I'm a, like, you know, I'm gonna just say it like this. So you're basically clowning a jit that ain't really got nothing to do with Kodak. He probably done ran into Kodak a few times out of die, maybe whatever the case is, but no real, real serious um, affiliated. You feel me? He's not sniper game himself. So you're telling me just because he's from Florida, just because you feel like he's part of sniper game or he's affiliated with Kodak, so you want to go ahead and press him, right? But your real beef is with Kodak, so why ain't you just... That's the part I don't understand. You're basically... All this shit is really for clout, bro. Just think about it. All this shit is just to put your... You know, I've never seen his manager. He never performed. He never did nothing, dog. Why? Bro, he was scared for you, dog. I swear to God. Like, they were... They were talking about you. They were like, oh, five tried to come on in from outside. But yo, you gotta remember, this guy's manager is Kodak... I am telling you guys, I'm not glorifying this shit. I just live in here. Just, 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 just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just picture this. Let Top 5 come do this shit out here. He's not going home the same way. Y'all ever heard that old thing? You come to Florida for a vacation, you leave on probation? It's really like that, bro. Max manager. So they already know about that. You see what I'm saying? That's crazy. <laughs> This guy never came to his own fucking show. Say, so should have checked in, eh? Damn. Well, Jit ain't even from the hood, though. That's the crazy thing about it. You're stupidly throwing that man in some beef that he's not a part of. 
and you want him to prove himself over what? Jit that'll do business. What's the purpose of him going there to try to prove himself to you when he that'll do business? If the promoters don't handle the security, then the promoters gotta lose their money. Shut up. Free money for Tyler, whatever. Free money for little Tyler. But no, for real, on some on some real shit. Like you literally want to go pick a beef with a nigga that don't have nothing to do with the situation that you're trying to be on, bro. And like he said, for real though, if there ain't no security, what the fuck I look like going out there to go perform or do anything, nigga? At that point, my life is in jeopardy, nigga. These niggas are trying to make a name. Well, these niggas either are trying to make a name for themselves or they just trying to, you know, like, you're not finna use me as a prime example. That's basically what Buddy said. So, him not showing up to the venue, him not showing up, I don't blame him, bro. That is a smart move, bro, because nowadays... Come on, shit would have escalated for what? And if something would have happened to this nigga, I'm not sure what would the case would have been, but a lot of people would not have gave you prop because they would have been like, bro, you not barred a sniper game. You literally just beat up a kid that's a non affiliated for no reason, bro. Your ego don't got to. You really think you like that, but you ain't. I mean, shit, maybe you is like that because I guess apparently you beat a whatever. But like I said, Jit ain't even a hood nigga like that. He from Florida, so, you know, he gonna talk a certain way, have a certain swag, but he's telling right here on uh, Big Fast Podcast. Man, they used to be like, nah, I don't think that's good. To my... All right, my kid. All right, my bad, bro. Uh, earlier when I kept seeing you back and forth when Kodak was talking, I wasn't sure if you were, like, from Toronto, but I guess I should have realized you from Florida, but... um. Yeah, I'ma just say my bad, bro. I ain't mean to be like it. it I didn't mean to be like, okay, I got the one that's too beefing, but no, it was basically they mistake they mistake you for um a sniper game. They don't need nobody rapping all that. They be like, oh, no, I don't think that's a good look for your son. Talking about mom, telling my mom that they don't think it's a good look. Because you technically don't come from the hood, right? Yeah, type shit here, nah. My dog and shit, you feel me? Like, we we ain't even from the hood because we just like, it's shit that around us type shit. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. But my dog, I got it way better than all my dog. Like, my yeah. dog had the rough and shit. You feel me? So, them boys be over at my crib all the time. You feel me? So, now nah, I'm getting into what they getting into type shit. That's like, <laughs> what it is type shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. But I was a good kid. Yeah. Boy, chain me. <laughs> how, how hard is it to stay out, like, peer pressure and trouble and stuff trying to come up and in your app shit? Just, you know, hey, like, easy when you just right gotta now. have that right mind, cause you know, when you a kid, cuz. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Some of y'all gonna say, nah, bro, you just weak minded. You just, you just did it, da da da. Nah, in all reality, sometimes, bro, like he was about to say, you just gotta be strong, bro. You gotta, like, you gotta know when to, like, put your foot down, because I'm telling you, peer pressure out here is a little bit. Hi, bro, and it's like you know you got that one homeboy. Hey, bro, let's go do this. And he be like, nah, nigga, you know I ain't trying to. Nah, nah, bro. You're like, man, come on, stop being a. Come on, bro, stop, bro. You a hope out here, bro. Come on, now. Nah. You feel me? So <laughs> nigga be like, bro, like, and then you know, and then if you really know, right? If you really sit here and you going back and forth, like, nah, bro, I really ain't. Like, bro, he finna listen. Everybody in the hood finna know that you ain't really like that, nigga. You, you, you done. And that's the worst part, bro. Niggas in the hood will really be against you. The fact that your boy try to get you on some bullshit and you ain't sly, bro. Like, I'm, like. Man, you just trying to do everything everybody else doing. Yeah. Yeah. Really? How you stay away from it? How you stay grounded and stuff? Man, stay true to yourself because you got to know what you going to do. Mm -hmm. Not what anybody else going to do. Yeah, yeah, don't let don't let a nigga finesse you into doing something you know you ain't capable of. That ass. Yeah. That's including going to somebody else's city, having some stupid knuckle ass try to go ahead and entice you to get into what? A fight? You know? A shootout? Like what it is. This ain't even your beef for what? That man ain't go over there for that. Jig could pocket his money and go home. Forget all that. Okay, so that's that situation right there, though. This dude top five came home for jail. Look like he's trying to go right back. I don't understand what's the purpose of it. Like what what do you want out of life, man? Do you want to make music? Do you want to be known for making music? Or do you want to be known for making dumb decisions, dog? He wants to be known as Drake Top Crash Out Dummy, bro. That's basically what it is, bro. He sees the opportunity, the, the cloud chase, and that's what you're going to take. And, um, all I'm going to nah, I ain't even want to say that part. What do you want out of life? Because if you keep moving like this, you're going to end up in jail. And, and I don't see how this benefits you at all. And if you want to do music, then, you know, you got to look yourself in the mirror, bro. Is this all you're going to be known for, this right here? Or are you going to challenge yourself to go ahead and make...
I don't mean to pause you, but I just got one thing, right? The fact that I guess he's supposed to be a rapper. Now, let's be honest. Let's be honest, right? If he's really an artist, if he's really an if he's really a rapper, and he does have music or whatever, right? And let's just say, let's just say that he blows up or like his music is really is really getting out there type shit, right? Now it's time for him to leave Toronto to go perform in different states. You might want to be careful. Now you feel me? Like don't sit here talk mad shit about California. And if you gotta if you got something going and now you gotta go to California to perform, bro. Don't sit here and talk about sniper game if you gotta come to fucking Florida to perform, bro. Nigga, don't forget. Nigga, be patiently be waiting for their chance, bro. So that's just my only like you basically making yourself hotter than what you need to be, bro. You just beat up. You just jumped. You feel me? And now you're talking directly to all these people, bro. Unless your plan is to stay in Canada for the rest of your life and never go to any of these states that you be talking about, people, then I guess. Actual music that speak louder than this bullshit that you're doing, dog. This is trash. But I truly don't get the purpose, man. Y'all gotta let me know what you gotta say in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo. Shit. Appreciate the video, but y'all hit that like and subscribe, too, now. You feel me? Follow your boy on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, go check out one of my videos. Let me know who I should do a reaction on, which rapper or which documentary. One.